Okay, so welcome back to our discussion on assignment problem. So let's recap what we have discussed so far. For the balance problem uh, that is about minimizing cost, we do the following steps. First, we have step 1a, which is subtracting the smallest number in each row, followed by step 1b, which is subtracting the smallest number in each column. And then next, we have step 2, which is the optimality test. This is, we want to cover the zeros with, with the least number of vertical and horizontal lines. If necessary, we carry out step 2.5. And then finally, we have step 3, which is doing the assignment. For a balance problem that has maximizing profit, we have the first step is to carry out step 0 0.5. The idea for step 0 0.5 is to transform the maximization problem into a minimization. Once uh, step 0 0.5 is carried out, we have a minimization problem and by then we can use the Hungarian method. So we do step 1a, step 1b, step 2, step 2.5, and step 3, similar to the minimization problem. Now what about if the problem is not balanced? So for example, if there are more people than the number of tasks, what we do is we introduce a dummy task. We will put zeros to turn the unbalanced problem into a balanced problem. Now, for example, if this is our opportunity cost table, which is not balanced, notice that the number of people is greater than the number of tasks. If this is the case, we introduce a dummy task and we put zeros so that the unbalanced problem will become a balanced problem. And now that this is a balanced problem, we can carry out the steps of the Hungarian method. Now what about if there are more tasks than the number of people? If this is the case, we introduce a dummy person. Similarly, we put zeros to turn the unbalanced problem into a balanced one. For example, if this is our opportunity cost table, notice that there are more tasks than the number of people. So to, to transform this into a balanced problem, we will introduce a dummy person and we will put zeros in that additional uh, row. Because of this, the unbalanced problem has turned into a balanced problem. And now since this is a balanced problem, we can carry out the steps of the Hungarian method. Okay, this ends the lecture on assignment problem. If you have questions, please comment below and I will attend to them. Thank you.